Most programs I've tried have always some kind of personal inventory where you go over regrets, mistakes, etc. and try to find peace with them either by apologizing or making the situation right. I find completing this inventory very hard because I have no idea where to start, how to do it. I am logically orderly person so I look for steps. I don't know how far back I should go or what to include. Can you explain why this is so important and provide some guidance on my issues to completing the inventory? Wow, thank you for that question. Uh, there's a lot of uh, very in very in-depth uh, topics within that one question, so I'll I'll do my best to try to to help answer those. Um, so a personal inventory is. Um, very commonly used in, in the therapy world, especially in terms of addiction recovery, um, as a means to promote healing. Um, the idea would be that um, each of us has an opportunity to take a look at the past and to consider what we're changing and why we're changing it and, um, you know, to go back to the first question, the motivation for change. Um, you know, we're going to consider why we want to make changes in our lives and uh, then to ultimately be able to move forward, uh, we want to be able to identify ways that we're making actual change. And so uh, I, I love the fact that you, uh, you brought up the question about logic uh, because you seem like a very logical person, a person who wants to look for, say, uh, a cause and effect kind of relationship or, uh, you know, a step-by-step -step progression if I do this, then what will happen kind of thing. Um, and, and that's wonderful because I think you can take a look at um, how steps toward healing can be helpful. Uh, one of those steps is to be able to simply recognize um, what is it in my life that I'm changing? What am I trying to accomplish? Uh, with, the, with the first question we mentioned, the why is very important. With this question, it's, it's more about the what and then potentially what is the result of that. Um, a lot of the clients that I've worked with will uh, take a very deep personal reflection when they do a personal inventory. And uh, definitely they will mention, especially uh, in a, an individual session or maybe in a couple session, that um, the experience was, was very heavy. Um, it was very sobering. Uh, and I use that word in terms of... Uh, uh, you know, identifying the seriousness of, of what they're trying to change. So they're taking it very seriously uh, because they see the impact on their lives. And so the logic would be, okay, I can, I can see the impact that this has had on my life. And um, definitely um, there's always the ability, you know, when, when someone is looking at change in life, recovery from addiction, uh, one can definitely see the need for change that comes with that desire. Uh, they can see why things are disruptive in their lives. They can see how their relationships are affected. They can see how, uh, you know, jobs and, and goals and, um, you know, service in, in their church or other things in their lives are heavily impacted by all of those things. And um, that brings with it a lot of desire for change. And then when you couple that with... Um, the idea that uh, seeing what the impact has been on one's life um, can allow you to say, okay, I am turning the page. I am making a change here. I'm turning the page. Um, I'm moving forward in my life. I think the idea of progression and uh, healing comes very much into play there because we have uh, the ability to say, I'm not dwelling on the past. I've recognized it, I've seen it, I know the impact that it's had on my life, but the past doesn't own me, it doesn't define me, it doesn't dictate my future. One of the comments that we often, or concepts I should say, that we often talk about when it comes to uh, thinking about the future in relation to addiction recovery is the idea of future tripping, where we uh, might have the tendency to say, well, it's always been this way, so therefore it will continue to be that way in the future. Um, I've had this challenge, therefore it will continue in the future, and that kind of a thing, even to the point where uh, hopelessness and, and depression can creep in. Um, therefore the idea of looking toward the next chapter of life, looking toward healing, and reflecting on the past only to the point where 
we see the impact it's had, and then we, we make that formal commitment to move forward. Uh, that's why we feel like uh, that's something that can be very helpful. Now, having said that, uh, it, it's not always true that everyone's ready at the same time to go through that process. It can take time. It can be very um, uh, slow for some. It can be very quick for some to get to that point where they're ready to jump into a, a very deep uh, personal review of, of their past um, and look at how the addiction has impacted their life. Uh, but um, with that idea of you do it when you're ready, uh, that's what, what we try to do is, is help you through that process when it's time um, and to the degree that you want to. Sometimes clients want to uh, uh, dive into it very deeply. Other times they want to address it uh, briefly and then move forward. And either way, it can be very helpful in healing. So what a great question that is. Uh, hopefully I answered that. There were a number of questions in that. Um, yeah, that, those are my thoughts right now. If you have any further questions on that, please uh, go ahead and submit those. Uh, along those lines also, I just want to point out that if somebody has slipped up and they've completed moral inventory, it is not necessary to go back and relive everything again. Go yeah. from the last point you slipped and process from there. Don't, don't yeah. go back to when you were five. If you've never done the full inventory, then we strongly recommend you do it. We've had many people that think, oh, it's not going to be that big of a deal. But when they start diving into it, it's the most difficult thing that they've ever had to do in their life. But once you've done that, don't, don't relive it. Move on, move forward, and look towards what the, that, what the day is bringing you today, not what was in the past. 